Hey guys, this is your comments not TV here. We're gonna be oh shit, almost fell again. We're gonna be talking about electricity, so how this works. Um, so I don't have to park with me at the house here. Sorry guys, so I just want to vacation. So like, okay, it's my parents' getting break, so I'm just here for a reason because. Trying to get my games updated so so far, so Alright, how does electricity works from a generator? <clears throat> okay. Let's talk about a coil wire, okay? So, I'm gonna be demonstrating something. Okay, guys. Oh, I farted. That one's a good one. <clears throat> Damn, dude! <laughs> that was instant. <clears throat> Alright, guys. I don't want to waste my time. I didn't go to bed because I had a seizure today because you're not you should not stay up all night. Like I said, you die from seizures. So. <clears throat> Alright guys. I'm gonna be using this little coil wire. This is from a joy cleaner, so this is not a motor, it's like a vibrating motor. No. I'm sorry guys, it broke. I can't. Well, it's fucked up now. What the fuck ever? It's broken, damn it! Fucking wire broke. You're evil. If you'd like to tell me how I can Black. improve, try saying. I have feedback. Alright guys, let me tell you, so I'm not gonna be powering stuff up, so I'm sorry guys, the wire broke, so it's kinda old. So back in the nineteen eighties or something, this was built, so in the mid two thousands. So <clears throat> we're in two thousand twenty two right now, so we're good, so So Let me tell you something. Ah, God damn it. All right. If you use a denim magnet, if you move around the coil wire, it's going to induce a voltage. So what that does induces a current flow. So if you move like that, it's going to induce a voltage. So so like I said, if you use a denim magnet like this, it's going to induce a voltage. So Sorry about the huge fart earlier. That was like two minutes ago. So it's gone from there. I ate spaghetti so, so. If you use a coil, something like that, if you put a magnet across it, it's gonna do some voltage. So, like I said, be careful with electricity. It's freaking dangerous. So, show you the diagram, so... <clears throat> Alright, so, I'm going to show you the diagram quick, so... This is my old iPad, I used it for old videos, or old... for my animation, so that. <clears throat> Ow, fudge, man, it hurts. Alright, guys, so... On Google, see? If you see the magnetic field, so you see this armature, this is induced voltage, so. All right. So, let me move here 
for Joe. <clears throat> Let me show you this animation. So, guys, you grab your induction motor, something like this. So, uh, this is your coils, right? So, he, if you have an armature, like, let me listen. Let me show you this. So, give me one second. <clears throat> give me one second. Induction motor bread maker coil. Alright guys, let me show you. If you have a induction motor, something like these coils, if you move a magnet around and cross this coil, it will induce a voltage. So how this works, this could be in your generator head. So listen, if you go to mess with something like this, you gotta be really careful about this. So <clears throat> what I'm saying is true, so if you Run a generator like this, you see it's coils. Your armature will be right here. Take your armature, it's gonna be right there, and it's gonna power up the head, your generator head, right? So, <clears throat> like I said, your generator wiring can be different, somewhere like this. So, <clears throat> my fucking throat, sorry. So, say, guys. If you have a generator power head, something like this. So, this is called an alternator. So, if you build your homemade, good for you. So, be careful with electricity, like I said. So, you gotta care yourself with electricity in your body. So, if you were to run a generator at your house or inside the door, don't run a generator indoors, okay? <coughs> Freaking hiccups. So, If you're going to run your generator indoors, do not. Do not. <clears throat> do not. This is a no-no for you. If you run a generator indoors, guess what? You're going to die. Because what that does, it brings carbon dioxide at your home. <clears throat> <clears throat> If you want a generator to run indoors, do not run indoors. Do not run indoors because if your generator is not grounded properly, it goes. <laughs> you're gonna get electrocuted. But it's not a prank, you guys. I'm telling you, you get electrocuted because a generator produces electricity. That's the yes. Because do not run your generator indoors. What that does, it brings. <laughs> carbon dioxide, you don't want to bring that in. You're going to die in five minutes, so please do not bring your generators indoors, so do not report this video. Do not report this video. This is not, this is for warm rumors. Got to be careful with generators, so <clears throat> like I said, right there, it looks like a little power head, so let me show you the generator power head looks like. This is the induction motor. Generator, power head, alternator. All right. This is gonna be different. So, you see this green? This is the alternator. So what it does, it creates mechanical energy through the copper wiring. So. If you move the armature around the magnetic field, the coils will power up the armature. And the coils will generate AC voltage. You don't want to mess with AC, guys. It's kind of dangerous, so light is powered by AC. That's right. So if you mess with the generator, you're going to die. Electricity is dangerous. Like I said, you don't want to mess with these alternators. They're really extremely powerful. You could play with them, but do not touch the wiring. You're going to die. Okay, so this little big guy will produce the amount of power, probably 8,000 watts or something. So. <clears throat> so, let me 
show you what my armor table. Oh, there it is. So, so this is the alternator. So here it is. <clears throat> so see, guys. This is gonna be a commutator. I don't know what that is. So see this. This is gonna be the commutator or something, but I don't know. And this is your armature. So what that does, if you put around your stator, if it spins synchronous speed, this will power up. This is will power up. It will power your refrigerator and your centrals and centrals. But this cannot power your air conditioning. Okay, this is cannot power your air conditioning. So, like I said. These alternators are really cool alternators. I like alternators, guys. They're really cool, but you gotta you gotta be careful about those. They're really dangerous, so people are getting electrocuted. So, like I said, if you mess with alternators, this is your taste of your medicine. So, like I said, this is your armature and this is your stator power head. So, well, all right, guys. So that's it for this video. So. I hope you enjoyed the video. So, I hope you enjoyed the fart. It was nasty. It stinks. So, I'm sorry for farting the camera. If you guys don't like it, skip this video. Skip it, whatever you want to. So, this is about generators. So, let me tell you. Had I built my induction motor into a generator? First, let me tell you. You got to add your magnets to the rotor. And make sure your magnets face north and south. So, if you don't, your power is going to be generated. So, go check out my video about my induction motor generator. So, <clears throat> so like I said, do not do bad stuff with it because you got to burn out your alternator. You got to burn it out. So, all right, guys. So, like I said, be careful with the generator alternator. So, let me show you my pictures of back in the day. So, before I end this live stream, motherfucker. All right. Okay, y'all. I'm going to show you my pictures. These are my pictures, so... I don't want you guys to know. So... Let me tell you something, guys. My Nana passed away. Like one year ago. It was almost two years, so my Nana passed away. So, August 28th, 2020. You, I'm not joking right, guys. She passed away, so... I just don't want to talk about it on the internet right now. I'm sorry, guys. I don't want you guys to be crying. So, my nana passed away, so it's Alzheimer's. So, you guys got to understand, Alzheimer's is hard to take care of. Like, responsibilities. You got to understand, guys. Responsibilities. You got to take care of another, you know? On the internet, people don't talk about someone passed away, like their family. I understand that. It's called privacy, so my nana passed away like one year ago, August 20th, this year. It'll be two years she passed away. Two years. So this is not a joke, you guys. I'm not going to tell you where she is, used to be, but that's a little video. So I'm sorry, guys. I don't want to talk about this on the internet right now. I'm trying to, not to cry on camera, though, so... That's why we're going through some pictures here. So, I'm going to show you the pictures I was little, so back in the day. So, like I said, guys, my nana passed away 2009. No, wrong, wrong. 2020. August 20th, 2020. It's no joke. I'm telling you. Just last year? No, that's 2021. No. It's almost two years. So, 2020, August 28th, she passed away. At 6 a.m. local time. I was crying my butt off. So, like I said, guys. Mm -hmm. So, I'll put this in the next video about my nana passed away. So, I'm sorry I can't tell you the rest right now. So, because it gives me stress. So, here's my pictures, guys. So, this is my picture. Since I was little. At 2007. So, this is my picture. So, these are my awesome pictures, so I'm going to keep these. So, yeah. Hey, guys, make sure you keep these pictures. If your family passes away, put them in the Bible or whatever. So, just take good care of them, okay? So, like I said, do not throw them away. It's a waste of time, okay?
if you want to give it to someone, they're looking for it to, to give it to someone, you know? Just give it to someone. If you don't like it, give it to someone. If they don't like it, just give it to someone. If they all the people don't like it, throw it away. Don't want that, throw the Bible away. You guys are idiots. Alright, where is my... Ooh, I got a heartburn. These are all the pictures my aunt collect over the years, so. Mm -hmm. oh. Where are my damn pictures? You guys, let me tell you, I was born in Tennessee, so I was born in Tennessee, but we, we moved here in Virginia, so I was a little baby back then, so, oh, there's another one. <laughs> that was instant. Damn, it stinks. Mm -hmm. Doesn't tell me what year it is. I don't smell anything, guys. That bar's not that stinky at all. Mm hmm. See, guys, back in Tennessee, this is the old car, so that's not my car. That's someone else's car, so. I was a little baby. I don't drive cars on me. Nope. I don't drive a car because I don't want to wreck your car. I don't wreck them, you guys. Guys, listen. Do not drive cars because there's bad drivers out there. Bad drivers. You make sure you save all your money for transportation. So, you got to save a lot of money on that, okay? So, I'll end the video here in a minute, guys. So, I'm trying to go through some stuff here. Oh, my. Oh, baby boy. Look at uh, huh. I can't find my pictures, guys, so that's it for this video, guys. So, sorry to waste all time, so. Alright, guys, so I hope you guys have a good, good night, so I'm going to not waste some time, so I'm going to upload this to the internet, so. No joke, guys, my nana passed away August 20th, 2020. That three years. So, two years is almost here, so. This year, it's going to be two years, guys. Like I said. If, you, if your grandma has Alzheimer's, people are not going to be able to remember you. Because, like I said, people are not going to remember you guys, okay? This is no joke. Alzheimer's will erase your brain, your memories, everything. Alzheimer's, it's just a waste of my time. I don't want to hear that, okay, guys? So, I just don't like Alzheimer's, guys, because it's kind of dangerous for your brain to handle. So, like I said, guys, be careful out there. Okay, take care of your grandma or your mom, so you guys, or your grandpa, or your dad, you know, you guys, if you have loved ones out there, take care of them, okay? Alright guys, so like I said, have a good night, and I'll see y'all next time, peace. Cool Minutes on TV, out. Bye-bye.